All right, let's move off of that. Let's make sure we get this uh, within our little 30-minute time oh, frame yeah. here. Uh, Troy. The Troy Trojans, 10-3 and three last year, 7-1, seven, and one, seven rest, uh, returning starters on offense, six on defense, number 35 most experienced team in the country. That is only good for sixth in this conference. That is worse than half of the, the league. Uh, former head coach Neil Brown won 31 games in the last three seasons, and he is off to West to Virginia, rockier uh, pastures, I guess. Uh, ma- the, the Mountaineers Listen, and whatnot. I think losing him is an absolute world changer. I like Chip Lindsey, new yeah. head coach. I, I I think Neil Brown is up there in the conversation of you know best coaches in the country. Best coaches in the country. That yeah. top 10, 15 guys. I believe that he's going to be in that conversation now that he's with the big boys. I don't think that you can understate losing him at all. They went 10-3 and three now, last I, I year, will, right? I will say this. Yeah, 10-3, and 7-1 and one in the conference. Uh, he did leave the cupboard stocked. No problem. For you're, Chip you're, Lindsay. You're right. You're absolutely um, right. Chip Lindsay, former uh, Auburn offensive coordinator. That's right. Uh, former Kansas offensive coordinator because Les hired him, and then he took the, the Troy job. Uh, quarterback Caleb Barker started six games. He got hurt. Then quarterback Slugger Smith started the last six. Uh, they've got a ton of experience everywhere else. The defense returns 11 guys who started multiple games in 2018. Uh, the East title like should be on the line in the finale against App State. That's right. Anything less than that is the probably going to be a disappointment. The play the last game of the season, that game's going to matter. Yeah. That game's going to matter. So I've got them falling backwards, though. I, I've got them falling back from ten and three, but only to nine and three. I've got them six and six. Now that's you and I talked about this. Um, the schedule sets up. You know, you got Campbell to start, then you've got a bye week, then Southern Miss comes to Troy. I like Southern Miss this year. Yeah, I know you love Southern Miss. Um, they play at Akron. I think they get that one. I think, any of that. I think they lose to Arkansas State and at Missouri. See, they just play on the road at some tough games. That's the biggest thing. Well, and it's it, so they play at Missouri, but then they've got a bye week, right. and then South Alabama comes in. I think they get that win, and then I think they win at Georgia State. I think they win at Coastal Carolina. I think they win at home against Georgia Southern. I think they win at Texas State. I think they lose at Louisiana, but I think that they beat App State in the season finale on that Friday. See, it wouldn't shock me. So the difference is, is I, I, I think they're probably going to lose. I like Georgia Southern. We've had this conversation. I like App State a lot. Like I just think they're games that they're going to, they're going to lose. I can. I think I can the difference that. between Neil Brown and Chip Lindsey is going to somewhere show its head of, of, hey, you need to make a decision to win or lose a game, and you're going to make the wrong one. It's your first time to be a real head coach. You're from – now, I do think he's going to – I don't think Troy's going to be one of these teams where they're just going to become one of those have-nots. Yeah. He knows Alabama. He's from Alabama. He can recruit that state. If you don't go to Auburn, if you don't go to Alabama, he can get those guys in that state and say, hey, you're not going to play major power five ball? Come here. I don't think many people are leaving the state. I think, I think you're probably right. Probably right. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Go to uh, betnow.eu. We'll see you guys next time.